What's up, YouTube? See you all, and I'm back with another review, and this time it's on another uh, blind box vinyl figures, and this is another action vinyls by the Loyal Subjects. We got Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It's my first one, and I just wanted to show you guys quickly uh, kind of some poses you can put them in. So you can get him to, you know, you can hold his gun in front of him. So you can use a little bit of variety of poses. He can turn his head, which is cool. But uh, poses that he can actually stand in. You can have him hold this above his head and point his weapon, his, his gun, and get him leaning back a little bit, something like that. Um... You can remove the weapons, I suppose. Uh, you can also... He, he doesn't have any really bend in his elbow, although they should introduce that. But you can... He does have a little bit of bend to get him to kind of lean. So you can get him to do wide stance stuff and still stay flat, which is cool. Uh, it takes a little bit of work, but not much. Keep his gun to the side. So, just to show you... Um, they are able to pose and as you can see you can look up you can also look down well you can also look down <laughs> there. um anyway so we got the final box for those that didn't watch my blind box or uh, vinyl figures episode five this is episode six These are the figures you can get. These are the rares. Some more of the figures. It trails off. You can see the design. So that's pretty cool. So we're going to just check it out. I'm hoping to get something different. And I really don't want, like, Rita Repulsa or whatever her name was in the old days. And what do we get? Come in the nice big foil bag. Oh, cool. I'm not very... I'm not uh, upset with this one at all. And this one comes with a, a file card. The first one did not. That's strange. Lord Zed. Yeah. Does it say his name anywhere? Oh, yeah, Lord Zed right there. Yeah, I was right, Lord Zed. Oh, he's taller, so that's cool. I like I like that they have different um, heights. That's really cool. So this is Lord Zed. Very cool. He's got a little bit more motion with his head. You can tilt him side to side. Front, back, up and down. So that's really cool. He can turn to 360 if you want. I'm not sure if these monsters did that in the show. He's got those still those pegged on. If you can see, uh, let's see if we can how do you gonna see that? Yeah, you see the pegs? They're sticking out, and you can kind of notice it. In, in uh, it's it comes up a little more plain in in, in hand. But, uh, yeah, he's got some ball jointed. You can lift. I don't know if this guy was able to do that, right? Yeah, this guy only can go out that far. At least this guy can get out almost uh, uh, 50 degrees, a little over 45 degrees. He's got the swivel at the, at the wrist. He doesn't look like he's got any elbows or anything, but he does have a torso. So he can kind of move on a ball joint there a little bit. Yeah, so go. you can lean him down a little bit and lean him back a little bit. And his head movement is like that. So, yeah. His legs, they can kind of move around. It reminds me more of, like, what the new uh, Legacy Thunder um, Megazord has for leg posability. You can move it, but it ain't going to really give you any real bends. But his foot does. His foot has some nice tilt. And it has front to back. So that's really cool. So, you know, you can get him in some cool poses. Let's just get a pose going right here. 
And then we'll check out his accessories. And I love the paint that Loyal Subjects puts on these things. See? So as you see, we have a nice uh, pose. Put him up next to the Titan figure that I got in Episode 3. Put him up next to, uh, compare him next to the Power Ranger. And just real quickly, we'll do a little uh, measurement here. If I can find my tip measurer. Okay, so the Power Ranger stands, I believe that's centimeters. The Power Ranger stands what seems to be about three... A little low, about three and a third, maybe three and a, three and a half with the helmet. Not even, not even three and a half. Oh yeah, he also has a swivel up there. I guess that is what the, so it's just a ball joint on a swivel. But. And Lord Zed stands at a whopping. Three, uh, four inches to the top of where the Z is. So let's just take out quickly. Uh, oh, you know what it is? Oh, I, I, you know what's different is I, I was filming um, real life and I had it on daylight. So if this comes out kind of funny looking colored, it's because I forgot to switch the the lighting uh, options on my video. I usually use a different setting, but um, but I like them. I knew this was a different... When I try to buy blind boxes, I always try to get two that are different feels. Because I don't... I can't stand spending 14 to $13 on something of two of the same things. And especially in a box that you can't return. Alright, so let's look. He's got a weapon. It comes in a nice baggie like this. That's the weapon. Yeah, so this is really... The colors are going to come out kind of crappy. So I apologize about that. But it's just a... A blind box video. I will make sure to switch it for my next video. And I've got a bunch of videos coming up. I've got uh, Sky, um, Skylinks. Almost forgot his name for a minute, but that's also because I'm paying attention to not breaking off the Z here. Hold on a second, guys. I don't want this to break. Okay, so I got Skylinks coming up. I've got the Wave. Of deluxes minus smoke screen, so I have Trailbreaker, um, I got Wheeljack, and I do have uh, Hound uh, coming up. I have actually owned the uh, deluxes right now, and Skylinks is in the mail. I've got a bunch of uh, Dragon Ball Z stuff coming up, and I have um, uh, I just have a bunch of other stuff. I got some. Uh, I got He Man, the new from the Filmation coming I've got uh, as you can see you can play place the weapon in his hand I put it upside down but I'm not really sure I guess that would work because it's a Z so I'll just flip it like that that way you can like hold it like this and it has the Z up there but very cool you can see this is a se separate piece but it's done really well it's not gonna come off great paints silvers nice uh red it's like a bright red and then this is more of a matte red with nice silver here it's got a, almost a champagne gold effect to it like it's silver but the way that that comes out on the matte paint is, and uh really cool man and he's got like skin colored yeah, the, I don't know what the colors are going to look like when I actually go back and review this. But that looks yellow through this. And so do my hands. <laughs> so I, I do apologize. And with my camera, I can't switch it in the middle of um, recording. But anyways, let's keep this really short. It's already almost nine minutes. Uh, if you've got something to say, leave it in the comment sections below. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video if you liked the video. And share with your friends, and we'll catch you next time. Power Rangers, I'm going to get you. Oh. <laughs>